The information on a CD or a CD-ROM disc, a very narrow laser beam is used to strike the microscopic pits or depressions and the flat areas called lands on the disc. When the laser beam hits a pit, the beam is diffused and not reflected back to the photodiode. When the laser beam hits a land, the beam is reflected back to the photodiode. The off and on signals passed on by the photodiode are then processed in ways that cause the display of sound, images, or text. Okay, for the introduction, this paper research are going to discuss about compact disc drive system. It will be discussed about how the compact disc system works, the control of diagram, specification, or parameter used in the compact disc system, electrical or mechanical representation, the transfer function, the time response, and stability. CD ROM stands for compact disc read only memory. This disc is like a super floppy disc that can hold a lot of information. One CD-ROM can hold the same amount of data as 500 copy disks. Information is permanently recorded onto it. Computer games and other programs are considered to be CD-ROMs. Summarizing, the compact disk consists of four elements. The first element is the label. Second is the protective layer. Third, the reflective layer. Fourth, the substrate layer. A beam of light energy is emitted from an infrared laser diode and aimed toward a reflecting mirror. The mirror is part of the head assembly, which moves linearly along the surface of the disc. The light reflects off the mirror and through a focusing lens and shines onto a specific point of the disc. A certain amount of light is reflected back from the disc. The amount of light reflected depends on which part of the disc the beam strikes. Each position on the disc is included as a 1 or a 0 base on the presence or absence of bits in the surface of the disc. A series of collectors, mirrors and lens accumulates and focus the reflect light from the surface of the disc and sends it toward a photo detector. The photo detector transforms light energy into electrical energy. The, strike, the strength of the signal is dependent on how much light was reflected from the disc. Next is for the block diagram. The first one is the input. We also have, of course, we have, must have the input and the output. And then is the laser drive into the summit junction, which is then it will be next to the process, which is the data processing. And then it will go to the next, the next phase is for the plant or the PC. And then this is the feedback, which is for the controller and the spindle. The compact disc player contains two main subsystems, the audio data processing system and the servo or control system. The servo or control and display system orchestra the mechanical operation of the player and includes such items as the spindle motor, auto tracking, less focus and the user interface. The audio data processing section covers all other player process. Okay, this is the block diagram. You can see as... Okay, the first one is a schematic and bond graph of one disc torsion plan. As you can see inside the block diagram. The next one is for the position control block diagram and the last one is speed control block diagram the, the, the block diagram for our um, for, for the CD row 
so uh, we need to uh, to to do some reduction of the block to obtain the the sim uh, the simplified transfer function. Uh, from here, uh, G1 and G2 uh, we combine uh, to to form GS and H1 and H2 uh, we combine it to form HS. Then uh, for uh, here we can we can see the uh, the feedback form. So uh, to uh, we adding up uh, those two uh, those two subsystem, uh, we will get GS over one plus uh, one plus um, GS HS. Um, then uh, we uh, we need to do some assumption for the the, the value of uh, GS and HS. Uh, let uh, uh, let uh, GS equals to one over S plus one and HS equals to K. Uh, then we we substitute into the the transfer function before and we'll get one over S uh, S plus one plus K. Then we assume that K equals to one. Uh, uh, two, we substitute the value of k into the uh, transfer function before then we get um, the transfer function 1 over uh, 1 uh, equals to 1 over pl uh, s plus 2 for the time response uh, so uh, we get the time domain pulse response uh, equals to xt equals to a e uh, my, uh, minus a t a equals to 2 uh, then uh, we get a e uh, 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 min, uh, to the power of minus 2 t uh, we, uh, from here we will, uh, we get the pulse uh, is negative 2 then uh, we take the inverse uh, inverse uh, Laplace transform uh, we, uh, we will get uh, for x t equals to a e uh, to the power of negative 2t uh, and t more than or uh, equal to 0 the solution has two parts uh, a steady state response y s s t equals to 1 and a trans uh, uh, transition response which is the case to 0 as t approach to infinity uh, for the waveform uh, on the time response uh, we can see that uh, there is the uh, settling time and the rise time. Uh, for the definition for the rise time is the waveform to go from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 to its final value. As we can see from zero uh, from here to here. And then for the settling time, which is uh, the definition is the time for the response to reach and stay within two percent of its final value, uh, which is uh, from here to here. Okay. And you can see uh, the slope is 1 over t, and the unit response is t is equal to 1. And then the stability is uh, the stability of a system relates to its response to inputs or disturbance. A system which remains in a constant state unless affected by an external action and which returns to a constant state when the external action is removed can be considered to be stable. Uh, and then we can see uh, here uh, the time domain impulse respond xt equal to a uh, ae AE, uh, to the power AE. of at and equal to ae uh, yes. to the power of negative 2t and yes. the pulse equal to p equal to negative 2 Okay, uh, this is a conclusion for this uh, compact disc. As a conclusion for this project, our group has successfully explained about how the compact disc drive system works. They construct the block diagram to obtain transport function, and respond and stability result. Okay, that's all for our presentation regarding this slide. Okay, for the compact disc drive system, and next is the question and answer session. Okay, any question from our friend? Yes, I have one question. Yes. Okay. Uh, please tell your name. Okay, my name is Muhammad Fariz Zuhilmi by Samsul. Okay, saya tanya. Okay, uh, compact this drive ni dia open loop ke close loop? Boleh tengahkan tak? Uh, 
uh, regarding this uh, compact distal system, this is a closed loop system because uh, this, this, the block diagram has the feedback and the closed loop has the feedback. Okay, next question is regarding uh, technology and enhancement. Okay, uh, what is the purpose of CD-ROM usage now? Is it a rational to use the CD-ROM now? Or the technology has something else? Can you please proceed? Uh, actually, CD-ROM is a too old technology. Uh, but nowadays we have a DVD and the, new, the newest one, the latest one is a Blu-ray. Uh, as you as you know that CD ROM can store only uh, maybe uh, audio data or data uh, uh, digital data, but DVD ROM uh, we can store a uh, video and also for Blu-ray uh, also video but yeah, uh, in better quality in in uh, in high definition. So um, yes, there there is uh, more uh, latest technology uh, than uh, CD ROM. To ask about the uh, why is the why is the derivative of the CDR, DVDR, uh, and DVD RW? What is the meaning between uh, what is the meaning of the RW? And then uh, the uh, I mean uh, when you see the DVD and the CD, uh, you can see that uh, there is a color different uh, uh, which is red or blue. Uh, so for the DVD, uh, is it red or blue? So I want to pass. Uh, my friend want to answer this question. Okay. So. Okay. The answer for the question is regarding the, the derivative of the CDR, the CDRW, or the other like DVD or the RW. Okay. For the the one which is either whether it's CD or DVD, the CDR is uh, right. So the CD it can be right only once. And if the CD is RW, it is uh, write and rewritable. So it, it can be write and write again. So it can be used all, all over again. Okay, for the next one is the laser beam. The laser beam is in blue color. 